Hey, how come you're late? Oh man, this is pretty hectic today. We are switching from absorption costing to ABC. We still follow absorption costing in our company. What exactly is ABC? ABC is activity-based costing. It is superior to absorption costing. Oh really? How is that? The difference lies in how you divide the fixed overheads among your products. In absorption costing, we divide it based on labor hours or machine hours. But that may not be accurate. Why do you say that? Let me illustrate. This is your purchase department. The salary that you pay to the staff which is a fixed overheads is $100,000. How would you divide it between your two products, say Rubik's Cube and Toy Car? We'll divide based on machine hours. If Rubik's Cube takes 6,000 hours and Toy Car takes 2,000 hours, I will divide in 6,000 is to 2,000 ratio or simplified 3 is to 1. That is $75,000 for Rubik's Cube and only $25,000 for the toy car. Now hear this. Purchase department is there to handle purchase orders, right? For Rubik's Cube, you have a single supplier. For toy car, you have three suppliers. So each time you are producing, you will have one purchase order for the Rubik's Cube and three purchase orders for toy car. So the staff is working more for the toy car, right? So purchase department expenses should be divided between the two products based on purchase order ratio. Here it is one is to three. I see your point. We are making a big blunder by dividing the purchase department cost in the machine hours ratio. That's not all. There are many fixed overheads which should not be divided based on machine. The more logical method for dividing the purchase department cost between two products is the number of purchase orders and not the labor hours or the machine hours that is used under absorption costing. Now let's take a look at the other fixed overheads and what is the better method or a more logical method of dividing those fixed overheads. Now the next fixed overheads that we are going to discuss is the machine setup cost. Now what do you mean by machine setup cost? Before each production run, the machine has to be checked whether it is working fine. So there is a team of people comprising of an engineer and the workers who verify whether the machinery is working fine and they lubricate the machine to make it ready for the next production run. Now, the salary that you pay to the engineer and his team of workers is a fixed cost because it is a fixed salary that you pay to these people. Now, what could be a logical method of dividing the machine setup cost between the two products, that is the Rubik's Cube and the toy car? Now, the Rubik's Cube is not a complicated product. Suppose there is only one setup that is required for a Rubik's Cube, but for the toy car, it is a more complicated product that three setups are required for the toy car. So how would you divide this machine setup cost? The machine setup cost has to be divided between the Rubik's Cube and the toy car in the ratio of one is to three, or this is nothing but the number of setups. Now coming to the next fixed overheads, the quality control cost. Now, just like the machine setup cost, there is a team to look into the quality of the product. 
right from the start, that is ensuring whether the quality of the raw materials is fine and for each stage of the production process, whether the quality is maintained. Now, just like I said, Rubik's Cube is not a very complicated product. So the number of times that the quality checks has to be done for the Rubik's Cube is just once. But the toy car being a little more complicated, the number of times that checking is to be done is three. So what is the ratio in which the quality control cost or the inspection cost has to be divided between the two products? It is in the ratio of the number of quality checks, namely one is to three. Now coming to the next fixed overheads, the machinery maintenance cost. Now for machinery maintenance, suppose we have given a contract to an outside agency. They come periodically to maintain the machine. So the amount that you pay to this outside agency is a yearly payment, which is fixed by an agreement. And that is also a fixed overheads. Now, how would you divide this machinery maintenance cost between the two products? It is simple because as in when the machine runs for a longer time, the maintenance that is required is also more. So we have to divide the machinery maintenance cost based on the machine hours. So suppose the machine hours taken for the Rubik's Cube is 6,000 hours and for the toy car, it is 2,000 hours. Then the machinery maintenance cost has to be divided in the ratio of 6,000 is to 2,000. We could simplify it. It is 3 is to 1. The next fixed overhead that is coming up is the factory rent. Now, how would you divide it between the two products? So let's check the area that is occupied for manufacturing the two products. So this is how the factory area have been segregated. On the left side, the production of the Rubik's Cube takes place. And on the right side, the production of the toy car takes place. So just see the area. The area that is occupied for the toy car is double that of the Rubik's Cube. So how would you divide the factory rent? The factory rent has to be divided between the two products based on the square feet occupied. So the logical method of division is the square feet. Say it is 5,000 square feet for the Rubik's Cube and 10,000 square feet for the toy car. Then the ratio of division should be 5,000 is to 10,000 or simplified, it will be one is to two ratio. So what was the summary? The summary is under absorption costing, all the fixed overheads, that is fixed overheads in total is divided between the two products based on machine hours or labor hours. We use machine hours if machines are used to make the product. We use labor hours if laborers are used to make the product. And what about activity-based costing? If the type of fixed overheads is the purchase department expenses, then the basis is the number of purchase orders. If it's the machine setup cost, it is a number of setups. If it's the quality control cost or the inspection cost, it is the number of inspections. If it's the machine maintenance cost, it is the number of machine hours. And if it's the factory rent, it is the squire. Now, the types of fixed overheads under activity based costing are known by the name cost pool and the basis on which each cost pool has to be divided between the products is known by the name cost driver. So these are two terms that you should keep in mind. The details of the cost pool and the cost driver will be given in each question. Now all of us know that ABC is a superior method when compared to absorption costing. So why not everyone adopt ABC? Now, the problem is simple. ABC is very expensive. Unless your overhead cost is very high, do not apply activity-based costing because it is very expensive and the costs will outweigh your benefits. With this, we come to an end of the introductory class of absorption costing versus activity-based costing. Now, before you go, just listen to this. If you would like to see my upcoming videos, do click the subscribe and the bell icon so that you will get notification for the same because many children come to know that a video has been uploaded only after a few weeks. So thank you all and meet you in the next video.